good morning everyone well me and Tina at macro today and uh, we just bought uh, a few bits and pieces as you can see some nice juicy ribs and we'll be off to cook these in a place a lot of people might know but you'll have to wait and see I'm at um, Annie P's diner. Hope you can see everything uh, from here. We brought a couple of ribs along, along for um, Dave to cook for us and show us the ropes. I know a few bloggers, or vloggers, should I say, have um, done some videos very recently on this diner. This food is fantastic, and uh, I've just booked the breakfast because we're going to have to wait uh, a couple of hours now before we can check the ribs. Okay, Dave, cheers. <laughs> well, we've yes. arrived at the restaurant. We're at, we're at Annie P's. And here's Dave. Um, a couple of days ago, I came here. Hello, Dave. Yes. A couple of days ago, I came here and had a breakfast, spoke to Dave and said that I'm not a very good cook and um, I'd like to know how to do ribs. So we've been down to Macro, as you've seen earlier. And uh, we've got a couple of uh, racks of ribs, if I can just show you them. And we actually have three uh, full racks. Uh, yep, we've got some nice racks of uh, meat there. In America, we'd, this would be known as a spare rib. Ah, right, yeah. A whole rack. Yeah. Uh, and the different cuts make different cuts of ribs. St. Louis cut, baby back ribs. And we're going to start by just, we've, we've simplified it. We've put a lot of ribs here over the years. And people, will, they'll show you what this bourbon and jalapeno rub. They'll show you the cinnamon raisin rub. I mean, dry rubs are good. They're cool. They work. But we've simplified it down to just salt and pepper. And I've known other people that do the same. Because the process of smoking it, finishing it, fall off the bone ribs is what we're looking for and flavor and the smoke actually is going to give it the most flavor the barbecue right so from here we're just going to put salt and pepper on it uh, well thanks very much for that dave we do and, we and do and appreciate you showing us how, how to do this and if you ever if you on your own you can go uh, you can just check out and make up your own rub uh, dry rub find it in the store or whatever if you're just a, uh, everybody can make their own variety California, right. I used to do 15 different spices and herbs as oh. a dry rub. I'd, I'd make it by the container full and it would go fast. And this is Annie from Annie Peas. <laughs> Hello, Swarika. And Tina, of course, you know. <laughs> well, it looks like we're in good hands here. <laughs> So this is just regular, regular well, charcoal. This is, this is the one that we get at Macros. It's a uh, charcoal briquette substitute. All right. I'm not, I don't know much about the history of these, but they burn slow and they burn hot. This is a uh, wood shavings. I think acacia tree, but I'm not positive. But what you use is any hardwood, yeah. fruit wood, and a good hardwood. That's a very sweet smoke I need to get down to the aluminum. We're fighting for small pieces, or big pieces, because you want small too. This is the base of the fire, the heat. And how long will that burn for? Oh, you just, that's what you're watching. That's what you're watching. Depending on the quality of the charcoal, if it's a brand new bag, it burns quick. Been out a while, it might go a little slower. But every, uh, once you get it going pretty decent, you really should check every half hour to an hour. You don't really need it every half. I yeah. just, it's just, you know, uh, just keep an eye on it. It's the whole secret. People can tell you this, tell you that, but until you get out there and do it, 
every smoker is different. Every barbecue is different. Every, you know, you just have to watch and, and really just, you know, gather all the knowledge you get and then each time you make something, your, your barbecue smokers are all different, different temperatures. You really it, look, just, it looks like you've done it once or twice before. Oh boy. And even, this, even during the slow time right now, we're going through a lot of, uh, we're going through a lot of charcoal. So we just uh, buy the commercial charcoal. It's not only like commercial, it's made all in the aisle and all mm -hmm. around. There's trucks all the time that are, uh, again, this, everything's different. We start our charcoal in a gas flame. Other people might take paper, uh, charcoal starter. Mm -hmm. There's smokers that are electric. Right. You just put the chips in. Mm -hmm. You don't get the temperature, so it's everything all has to do with exactly how you're doing it. So it's just salt and pepper, yeah? For this one, yeah. And again, like I was saying earlier, you know, many people would never even think of just salt and pepper. Mm. You can't do just salt and pepper. You gotta do dry rub. Of a million different kinds. Really, as many people as make it, or commercially, that's how many, you know, This, this is a simpler method. The, the simpler, the, the better for me, yeah, to be honest. Yeah, to start and then, and then uh, especially here, because we really can't, in America, uh, in Europe, I'm sure you, you can buy all kinds of, you know, bourbon, honey, and all these different flavors. This one. This is pepper. All the, you know, way I mean, there's so many different types. This this uh, regular this regular pepper. Yeah. Well, we we ground it. You do it yourself. Yeah. yeah. So what's going to be tricky in this? We're not going to have. Uh, we're going to go through two steps in the smoking method. Yeah. I changed one recently. Uh, these are huge like this, aren't they? Will two go in together? No, just. One at a time. We have tea step, you can put tea step like this. Oi. To the back. Uh. So that one, that to <laughs> the back. Lie. This one will go to the front. Uh. Another one put in there. And this one, uh, you want to go this way with it? No, it's on the same side. Uh. You sure? Yeah. That way you can create a flow around. Mm -hmm. Make sure you get enough wet stuff. Yep, I know. She does. What the wood? The wood well, that's a, that, well. I don't use the wood all the time because the problem with the wood is it will flame up, and I and I haven't really perfected that. We when we bought or when we got this these wood chips a long time ago, uh, we never used it because we used the chips. Yeah. And when I started using the wood, I, the wood's supposed to be at the bottom so it doesn't flame up. We'll see. We'll watch it close. And this method we just figured out over the last year. The dry first, which smoke immediately, yeah. and then put wet on top, it tamps it down a little bit, and it just takes longer to smoke. The smoke will last longer. I was using all wet, but if you use all wet, you'll tend to put the fire out. Right. Or slow the fire down, not put it out really. And roughly for three big ribs like that, how long will this process just the smoking take? We'll do it for uh, three and a half, four hours. Maybe a little longer with this many. Let's say four hours. Yeah. And that's only about half of it. Okay, we can go back here to give it room. Do you want me to do that? This is always ten minutes. So that's the initial step. But that's okay because now it's being right. to smoke, smoke, infusing the smoke. Nice. Yeah, just a check, a one hour check on the ribs. 
And one of the first things I look for is smoke. Now you can see there's still a little bit of smoke. That means inside there is smoke. Right. And I'm going to do something that I don't usually do. I'm just going to rotate the, because uh, their racks take up the whole thing. The, the ribs actually take up the whole rack, the whole smoking rack. I'm going to open it. You can see there's still good smoke. Oh, nice. It's going to be a little hotter down here. I'm going to do this, actually. And I'm just going to do two of them. This will give you a little idea after one hour. You can see smoke. You can see a little bit of juice. There's blood coming out. And that's good. You can see that's a little lighter. Yeah. Because taste. it's not as... And I'm going to just do the two. So we're just going to... Move this down one. It's quite big. Yeah, huge. That's why I like to cut. That's why I haven't done many ribs lately because I can't without. I'm just going to stick that one here. This one, push back a little further. Like I say, you can see there's still a good smoke. Yeah. It smells nice. When we last checked, we were checking uh, to switch the meat inside and also checking for smoke. It was smoking fine. It still is smoking. You can see it a little bit. But now what we want to check is we've already switched the meat around. And temperature, we're still below 200. It takes a, it takes a while to reach that temperature. But what we're doing now is, and every smoker will be different with your heat source and how you, how, what you use it. So we pull out the pan, very hot. Get over here. Apply smoke like crazy for a minute. That's all right. You can see this one never hardly. How many fire. times do you have to put more um, wood on there for the smoke? Two or three. Two, three, let's say. At least, at least three. And I'm going to add a little more charcoal because I want to get the heat, the temperature up. So. And that's the wood they use there for the, the wood chips, for the flavor, or for the smoke. And this is the kind of thing, no one can tell you how to do this because everybody's smoke is going to be a little different. Okay. What we're doing now is all about bringing the temperature up of the smoker, adding the fresh charcoal, and then, ouch, watch the charcoal when I get bare feet. <laughs> not the, it's not the first time I did that. Every method's different. This is my dry here. Smoke immediate. Oh, that's a lot of smoke. Yeah, oh yeah. This on top will slow the smoking down but it'll still smoke really well. So this means another cook around the cook. Back into the drawer. Into our box and let it go only about 150 but this will be good for at least an hour at least right. uh, and ideally by that the temperature will start to get up a little more okay so we'll come back in an hour then yeah well a couple of hours into cooking and it's time for a it's time for a massage if there's anybody about so a nice bit of relaxation not very sunny today so this will make a nice change i think um the cooking time for the the ribs is going to be about six hours five or six hours so uh he's had a check of it now he said it's smoking well so we'll go back after this hour give it another check okay nice nice and cool yeah you're having a thai massage or a foot massage can't have a thai massage i will have a foot massage I think they need to get another lady first. Mm. 
Tough work this cooking. Uh, this is the life. Well, that's me all massaged up. Have to go back now and check on the ribs. Okay, <laughs> team. Perfect yeah. Oh, you want, a, you want another one? You want another one? No, no, no. Before you say you want to have fed massage, I see here. Maybe next time. Back to the smoking kitchen. Four hours in and no smoke coming out. That's fine. Looking for 200 degrees Fahrenheit heat. And we've got just that exactly. What would, what would be the temperature if you was doing this in a regular oven? Well, you want to keep it low, 200 Fahrenheit, which I do the math. I'm not sure what that is in centigrade, but, uh, but so two, 200, 200. Is, that's low heat, and that's what you really want. Too high heat kind of cooks the outside a little fast, and it so changes. So 200 for four or five plus hours. Hours, yeah. Let's see what we got. Well, I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but that's looking, that's looking pretty good. Let's see what we got here. Nice smoky. Oh, God, beautiful. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Well, I may just go right to the... I think my camera might mess up. That's looking good. Another one. Yeah, these look good enough to... We're, actually, in. we're actually taking two of these back to our Ooh. where we're staying, and we're going to give the staff there um, a free meal. Free meal of ribs. They can add what they like to it then. But there's seven Beautiful. people. There's seven staff in our work. a lot of ribs. So now we're going to take the ribs and uh, re, uh, pan, re pan. This is the finish. They've already been smoked four hours. I mean, this is where smoking is not always just black and white. It can be, you know, it could be left in the smoker just like it is right now. But this is the finishing touch, I find, that takes the ribs to the point of falling off the bone. You're just going to do two for now, are you, or are you doing a three? Just two, because I'm going to have a hard time. I don't have enough pans. I've got that other bone. Well, I've loaned one to someone, too. Yeah, these are just... That's looking pretty good. Yeah. Now, usually, if the ribs are cut in half, I can do both of these in one pan mm -hmm. that's the problem not being cut <coughs> but that's fine that's all right let me get some water this is an important step so how much water did you put in just enough to generate the steam or? yeah and then you want to oh, i can do a couple different things here See, I've never seen this done before, like this. Well, that's what I mean. People boil, they do, there's just a lot of different methods. And this is one that I don't know if anyone ever showed me this. I just remember doing it. <laughs> so, and that's how things work too sometimes. These actually look really nice and meaty compared yeah. to some of the things. These actually look very nice. Well, they were just bought from Macro this morning. Dark and crispy, that's all right because this is now sometimes I cover it with plastic. That would actually do it a little better, I think. I'll take an extra minute, to come back here. I think I mean, you know, there's nothing new under the sun. <laughs> I may have done it for something else and, uh, because we used to back in you know, cooking days, hotels. We would do lasagnas. We did a lot of things, you know. We did a lot of things that we do would do plastic and uh, so yeah. We've done a lot of I used a lot of roasts and other things, but as far as a smoker and with my, the barbecue, I don't know we're doing this. You know, if you want to roast chicken or pork, beef, roast loins. Seal there. Hard. So this 
plastic cling film you use, you can put that back in the oven and it won't melt. You know, back in the old days, <laughs> I think back of uh, uh, 10 or 20 years ago or back, I remember the plastic sticking to all the metal, burning, mm -hmm. sticking, and marking it. The plastic now... It's different stuff, is it? Comes right off. Yeah. Not, nothing sticks. And it's food grade. This is all, you know, food grade. This is made for food. So this is number two. When this goes back in the oven now, how long do you keep it like that? A couple hours. Another couple of hours? Yeah, because we don't have an extra hot oven going. So to do this method, you're looking but, at but, six hours? But, as I was saying earlier, everything can be different. If I have to do this low, we have to come out earlier and check it. So you're looking at a, around approximately six hours for the total process? Yeah. Minimum, let's say. But the, a variable here is not being able to use the shelves like that. Hmm. And that one I put in the bottom will make it much, much hotter, so I don't know if I want to try not to do that. This actually acts, I mean, right now it's, it's smoky, the smoke is in there good. This steams it, and it just, you know, the smoke, when you open it, you get a hit of, a good hmm. solid hit of smoke. smoke. It's really, really close to the actual fire itself. That means that we're going to, since the tray in the bottom is so close to the actual fire box, it's going to be a lot hotter. Right. So we'll come back out and switch it. It won't be hotter temperature wise, because as the temperature readings up here are high. Yeah. Now we just. Always pays just to look and see how your fire is looking. That's still a really good hot fire. I'm not interested so much in the smoke now, just the heat. So let's just give it a break. It's in and come back. Maybe half a beer sometime. Well, it's pretty hot here. No, I think a beer might be uh, just a, just a job at the moment. <laughs> if you have a nice cold beer here. Oh, they're cold or on ice <laughs> always. So hot. another check. Yeah, the steam come up. Yeah. yeah. But we really don't want it to be that hot. You need to lift this one up a little bit. Because the flame is what is right on it. Put this one up here. These down here. Difference. I'll put this one down here. So we're up to about four and a half hours now, yeah? Yeah. We're losing a little bit because I can't just leave it for those two solid hours covered tightly with consistent heat. So you just have to keep checking, is it? Just take a little extra time, yeah. Sounds like another beer then. Yeah, just a little <laughs> extra time, another beer, maybe two, but uh, temperature we dropped. Now I'll check the, uh, the fire again. This is what, way in the back in the beginning when we were talking about things, each time, each thing you smoke, there are variables, mm. and this is one of them. Right now we're just <clears throat> still going for heat, not smoke. So they've smoked enough in the previous four hours. Yeah, and, and even that. if we were to, you know, I haven't even, I like the method of finishing this way. Uh, many barbecuers would probably like, why you do the whole thing in the smoker, so mm. that's the thing about, yeah. this, about what, this business. What works for you? <laughs> you? Figure out what works for you, yeah. Like a smaller pan down there. Well, right now I'm just going to stick but things are Things are looking a bit easier now because I've cooled, uh, cooled down a little bit, now I've had a beer. <laughs> I can't have too many because um, my voice starts to slur. <laughs> <laughs> not me, not moi. <laughs> Let me get a little more charcoal. Because we're going for heat, not smoke now. So four hours for the smoke, and then the rest of the time is for the, yep. the extra cooking. And the four hours, it's definitely not in stone, you know, but that's mm. good solid uh, time for smoking flavor. 
And so I've been at the restaurant now since about 10 o'clock this morning. So it's very nice of Dave to show us all this. I've had breakfast here as well, but um, when he brought it out, it looked so nice, I forgot to film it. So that was the end of that. And you were hungry. And I was hungry, yeah, <laughs> very hungry. But of my breakfast, Dave makes his own sausages, his own ham, his own bacon. I think the chickens laid the eggs up. <laughs> I've accused my wife of that. <laughs> right, we're on five and a half hours now. Dave's one is in the top. Um, my two are middle shelf, bottom shelf, which he's shown me how to steam. I'll take Ho a look. Hopefully it. it'll all fall off the bone nicely. We're having to do adjustments because of the size of the pans we're using. Unable to get the ribs cut like we like. This is the area of the unknown. <laughs> it's gonna cook. So the next check will be six hours, yeah? <laughs> cool. uh, Thank you. We're getting there, we're getting somewhere. So we're back checking our smoker into the phase of not so much smoking, but steaming and finishing and getting the, the meat to the point of falling off the bone. Got our temperature up 200 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, and that's uh, really a warm smoke, a warm oven, and over a long time it's perfect. So this is the, the six hour check now. Oh, look at that. Yeah, we still got good liquid, so... So your one in the top that hasn't been done like this is still okay, yeah? Yeah. So you've had six hours straight smoking and cooking? Yep. And it's... Well, it smells nice. Again. This one is going to be just straight smoking. It'll be cook, 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 but not fall off the bone ready. Wow, look at that. Wow. And I can do, deal with that later. Right, we're on seven hours now for our ribs. Uh, Dave's put up with me for probably eight or nine hours. It's been a tough, long day. <laughs> but, we, but we're getting through it. But we've had a few yeah. beers now. So. What am I doing? Okay. <laughs> so, we've had to do a little... Uh, uh, a little uh, adjustment here on the actual uh, cooking, and we're gonna pull one out now. Oh, nice! Wow. That smells nice. It smells smoky. Just back up a little bit. We're oh, put it. A little more, a little more, a little more. We're gonna go right to here. Here. I'm gonna do this as I can. So this had about four hours of uh, smoking. And then another three hours with the water and a bit of steam. I guess, uh, yeah. To, to, gener kind of to generate a bit of steam. Somewhere in that range, yeah. So what we'll do is... Uh, Don't burn your fingers, Dave. Yeah, that's no, all right. Oh, it's got good hot in there. It should fall <laughs> apart. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Oh, we got to fall off the bone ribs. Well, that's this is nice. what I was talking about. The ribs coming from oh, macro. Yeah. The, the way they trim it, it's a little thin on the meat on top. And if you look, take a look at the ribs again. Look at the holes here. It's okay. It's all fat burn off. Wow. But these are just going to fall apart and you're just... Nice. You'll wow them. Nice. So this has only been uh, seasoned with salt and pepper. Simple seasoning. You can time. put your barbecue sauce on later. <laughs> And if you make a little smell. barbecue sauce up for it. Not smell something. Yeah, this is something uh, else. I don't even want to touch it because it's going to fall apart. We got to give it a few minutes to rest too. Though. Okay. Maybe give it half a beer. <laughs> no, this is beautiful. As you can tell, we've had a few beers as well. This is Apparently, beautiful. it's all part of the cooking process while you're waiting. Mm. It's the whole rib cage. This is and I was really after the process. The actual ribs themselves were given to the staff at where we're staying, so they can have a free meal. Now this one, but I wish you could smell this. This is amazing. Well, it should fall apart. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Same, same. 
You can pick, pick, don't worry about Try that. Pick as much as you want, mm -hmm. pop all. Nice, nice, Dean. Mm. Brilliant, Dave. Mm -hmm. Thanks very much for today, anyway. Oh, you're welcome. It's been really nice of you or your wife to put pleasure. up with us. Huh? Honey, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and the ties especially, not, like this bottom part, it's got like all the cartilage and there's yeah. a ton of meat. The bones are up here and down here will be the cartilage and the stuff the ties love. They love this bottom part and thick meat too. Check that out. And this one, somebody's going to have a treat uh, when we go back tonight. Like I said, these, these had a good look. They were uh, kind of meaty, so I need a report. Well, I've got one here, although. <laughs> that one kind of went through, but that's all right. Okay, thank you, Dave. Well, that's our day over now. We've been here about nine hours. A big thanks to Dave and his wife for um, showing us how to cook the ribs. And uh, I'll try and get a bit of video later on a couple of pictures of us eating them. I want to see the bones. I want to see the pile of rib bones cleaned. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, thanks, right. very, thanks uh, very much, Dave. All right, thank you. Enjoy it. Where, where's Annie? Oh, thanks, Annie. My, my camera's gone a bit dark here. Yeah? Thanks very much for Welcome. putting up with us for the day. Okay. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Enjoy, enjoy your dinner.